that feel good? All right, before we can, I want to do something with this. Come on a circle. Now, I want you to make the step shorter, but just as quick. So I want you to do that by posting up and down, almost jumping straight up. Bring your hands a little down and back with your elbow down. Jump up. Don't pull her head down. I don't want her head lower. I want close your finger a little, jump more up out of the saddle, and draw back a little on the rein without squishing her. Good. And now go bigger steps. Bigger swing of your hip, feet down flat. Not too fast. Remember, we don't want her to fall over her nose because she's going and pushing too much. Now smaller steps. Stretch really tall, your leg really long, and jump straight up and down. Up and down. Up, 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 up more. Yeah. Oh, good. Now bigger steps. Not too big. Just let her go out of it. Good. And now shorter steps. So little actions of the rain and jump straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Good. And bigger steps. Good. And now shorter steps. Little actions of the rain. Say, come back to me. Jumping up. Good, good. Jumping up. And little actions of the rain. Come back to me. And jump up. Good. And now bigger steps. Patter. And then canter. Good. Canter when you're ready. Hands down, your outside shoulder down, your outside hand low and back toward your hip a little bit. Bring your outside elbow down, your hand toward her stifle. Good. Yeah, a little touch. Outside hand down toward her stifle. Go back with your outside rein. Play with your inside, don't block her with the inside rein. Sit nice and tall and help her with the whip like that when she thinks she's going to stop. Draw your outside hand down and back, light inside rein. Good, and back to trot. And walk and pet her. It was a better canter. Did it feel different? It had a 